meeting. Welcome to order. We will begin, as is customary, with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, this is a, one of the happiest Belleville Area District Library <laughs> Board meetings ever. <laughs> we have been working and dreaming and working and working toward this day. Um, the roll call will, is next on the agenda, and I call on our treasurer, Alma hughes Brooks, to handle the roll call. Secretary. Our secretary. Thank you. <laughs> Dawson? Here. Gates? Here. Julia? Here. Peters? Here. Priest? Here. And, and, and you? Yeah. you got to call your well, name. <laughs> um, we're expecting her. Okay. We'll be expecting she of it. And if not, well, okay. you didn't hear from her, did you? I heard from her. I haven't either, so I'm sure she'll be here. Maybe she doesn't know me. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, uh, an, a motion to approve the agenda is in order. I so moved. It's been moved by Gates and supported by Dawson that the agenda as um, circulated be approved. Are there any comments? Hearing none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those in po opposed by saying no. The ayes have it. There's no opposing votes. And, and the next item is approval of the minutes, which you have been able to look at. Um, they're in your packet, and they were circulated to the board electronically. So moved. We have a motion by Jeriga and a support by by Gates to approve the February 11, 2020 regular minute regular meeting minutes. Can I just ask a question about yes, the, the punch list? Uh -huh. It says the punch list still needs to be. I just wonder what a punch list. Uh, it's basically a walk through of the building to identify any anything that needs to be oh, okay. fixed. So if there's a a place that the painter missed on the wall or a lack that doesn't work, you can find a part of blue tape. Blue piece of tape on the wall. Or oh, okay. Item. See, there's a little blue piece of tape right over there. Yeah. So that's on the punch list. That's yeah. some. Oh, yeah, they got to do something you. about that thing over there. Um, last week, or when we opened this little stuff here, wasn't quite done. And I don't know why those they keep sitting there. I don't know why. But all these little things have to be done up. But none of them were. None of them. In the window. Yeah, right by where Rosemary's sitting. They didn't affect the occupancy or the no, yeah. no, no, no. It's little stuff that doesn't affect the occupancy. <laughs> and this Tresca panels? Yeah. What are those? They're not up yet. That's they're working on right now in the front. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Thank blue, you. The you know, blue, I'm just the blue tape means we're seeking perfection. Yeah. And the, the Trespa panels will go around this uh, arch, this curve, the curved area, and up and down the side, there's one little area of green, of the really bright green, right by the front door, mm -hmm. and that will be covered with these Trespa panels, which are very pretty, but I'll have to see them to really understand. They've explained them to us 450 And years. also the black, the back tower stairway going up, up to the there's roof. There's Trespa panels? That's got to be done also. With Trespa? Yes. Do you know what Trespa panels look like? Uh, <laughs> so, so if, if we don't point them out during the punch list time, they don't fix it. Oh, no, 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 no. They'll fix it. And the punch list, we've been watching, John went around with them while we were doing the punch list. It's Dean and and, the, and Mo and then Dan, has the, our architect, has been doing them. Any other questions on the minutes? All those in favor of approving the minutes for the uh, last meeting, please signify by saying aye. 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 Um, and no, the motion carries with no dissenting votes. 
Now we are at public comment, and we are pleased to have quite a few members of the public here. In addition to Rosemary, who is from our newspaper, who often is our only public <laughs> member. So would you guys like to identify yourselves? And if you have anything you'd like to say, now is the time. We're Boy Scouts from Troop 271 uh, St. Mike's. Mm -hmm. um, we're working towards our communications merit badge, and um, we're trying to get Eagle. You're trying to get Eagle? Eagle, Eagle Scout. Eagle oh. Scout. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. That's not an easy feat. They were here, we were happy to be, they're working on a, a requirement for the badge to use the computers downstairs, and we knew that you'd have a board meeting, which is oh. another requirement. <laughs> Well, oh, good. And this is uh, one of our happiest board meetings. Now, if you had come about a year ago and we're still trying to build this building and we're sitting in here till 11 o'clock at night, you might not have liked it so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's over there. <laughs> yeah, we were over in the old building. And so this is our very, we, people have told you we just opened yes. a week ago. So, so it's beautiful. Did you say where you're from? St. Mike's. St. Mike's. Yeah, so be more specific. Oh, tell the city. What city? Livonia. Yeah, that's what I said. Livonia. It's by yeah. Westland. Yeah. yeah. West Line. We know Livonia, but we just didn't know St. Mike. So, are you going to be going around to various libraries? Or? Um, just this one, I believe. Yeah, for the okay. requirement. We okay. need watch well, welcome. <laughs> yeah, we're glad you chose us. Did you see the team, huh? Uh, no. We oh, went to that kid. No, we were in the Houston. It's right in this on this floor, but in the kind of kitty corner. Yeah. Check that check that check the yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Don't leave before yeah. you see it. That's amazing. Well, that's the happiest public comments we've had. In a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rosemary. We always like what you have to say. <laughs> there was no sound uh, meeting. No, they're voting. You know. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, election, yeah, yeah, yeah. election. Well, okie dokie, I'm glad that you didn't have to run all over the place. <laughs> so now we're to our committee reports all ready. Whoa. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to hold off on the building committee report in hopes that our building committee chair joins us. Otherwise, the rest of us who were at the building committee will tell you what we can remember. Um, bylaws committee. John? I have nothing. There's no report. Finance Committee. Barbara? Mary Jo, do we have no report? No report. There's no report. There's just a whole bunch of money we spent trying buying books. Almost all of it is book buying. Um, marketing Committee. That's a lot of fun. Alma? <coughs> well, um, we had a blast. <laughs> <laughs> The Mardi Gras was an awesome success. We were very well attended. Um, the community really came out and supported. The food was great. Uh, yeah. Everything was, yeah, the band. The they band. did an outstanding job as well. And I think our videographer was uh, back here. Was that you? No, that was oh. my sister. Oh, did you? Did, did, did who did, did do it? Did the, Jackie, her sister, her sister. That is an outstanding job. Yeah. Um, for the benefit of our guests, we had um, Mardi Gras um, farewell to the old building, which is where we had our last board meeting, um, and the public came in and we, they had beads and food. And we had a brass band and said goodbye to the old building in the Mardi Gras second line tradition. Over 300 people. And over 300 people. Wow, that's awesome. And they wouldn't have all fit if we still had books in there. <laughs> <laughs> and also, the uh, book brigade was an awesome success as well. Um, the community got a chance to participate, and the kids. And so we had our, that was our soft grand opening. And the kids, they were just so excited. I mean, the look on their face was priceless, mm -hmm. yeah. as well as the adults. Yeah. So they got a chance to get a tour of the, um, the new library. So I think everyone really enjoyed themselves and are pretty excited about the new addition to the community. So that was, that was good. And 
as far as upcoming events, um, well, we'll be having the grand opening at a later date. Um, it, and we have selected the date. That's going to be July 25th. July 25th. The reason we're having it that late is because uh, the whole footprint of that building over there is five feet taller than this one. And so all five feet of dirt have to be taken out. First they have to demolish the building. Exactly, thank you. And then um, after that dirt is taken out, then a uh, retention pond is supposed to be put in underneath. And then the, the uh, uh, parking lot. And then a bioswale on top of that for the soaking up the water. Yeah. So there's quite a bit to do before. Yeah. And the parking lot can't be done until it's for sure warm, which is coming. <coughs> So, yeah. You saw Joy? Yes. Yes, and she's got the Good. <laughs> Good. Good. As long as she doesn't stop. She can always stop. Okay. Any other stuff to Oh, my dear. Oh, my goodness. For a king cake. Oh, one more king cake. Another king cake. The last one, the one that was looking. You're supposed to be here, darling. Is that the king cake that has babies inside? Yeah, it's like babies inside. So if you get a piece, chew on it. If there's a little baby inside, you get a, a year of good luck. And if you're my grandson, you get $10 in a year of good luck. <laughs> you get a year of good luck, and you get the chance to make the king cake next to you. <laughs> Thank you, Joy. That's joyous. Um, we are in the midst of the marketing committee report. So that pretty much sums it up. I don't know if anyone else has anything else to add about the events. Well, I would appreciate, I think Linda would appreciate everybody adding whatever they have to say about it because I had to miss the Mardi Gras event as well, sadly except for it was for a happy reason. But, yeah. But uh, the soft opening, it, it was just fabulous to be here to see. And to, the whole plan that the staff instituted, the whole idea of this book brigade, we had people line up from the old building to the new building and passed 100 books. The last 100 books were passed through that little assembly I knew, I knew I was with a library crowd because the line kept breaking down. People would stand there and start, <laughs> start to read it. <laughs> and then the very, end of, the very end of the very end of the line was a Joy, Mary Jane, me, and Debbie. And if it had just been Joy and Debbie, the librarians, still we would have here. never finished <laughs> because they were all worried when anything was out of order and it had to be the right place and then People were trying we, to read we the books. Kept telling Debbie, just put the book on the shelf. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that you're a librarian for a minute. It's an occupational hazard. Yeah. yeah. I have a comment about the library. I was not blessed to get to the book today, but um, we did have a guest book uh, that people signed oh, at the Mardi Gras. So I, did you find it? Mm -hmm. And I tried to get all to shepherd everybody over to it, so she got a lot of signatures. Good. Um, the people just never stopped coming. They were here early, remember? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were breaking down the door. <laughs> and uh, some people wore their own masks and beads and things. Yeah, they sure. really got into it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we gave out everything that we yeah, bought. Yeah, we did. So, I've, uh, I've, I've never seen the community so happy. I have not either. either. They even um, did the Walk around outside. Uh -huh. and I think that was a kind of a nice okay. day. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. No, but they walked around outside yeah. with yeah. the, yeah. the, 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 the band did yeah. too. The band. Yeah, yeah. 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 So <laughs> I saw some of the uh, dignitaries from the city, Van Buren. Anyway, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So. so it was a really, really. Mm -hmm. I was impressed. And Mary Jane, the food was fabulous. What was the food? Although, we had burgers from McDonald's. No. <laughs> we had Bayou, we had had bayou Grill, oh, okay. appropriate and food, yeah. jambalaya, and oh. um, catfish, and, 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 and fish. I mean, and chicken, 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 like chicken, chicken and, and fish. Yeah. And king cakes. And king uh, cakes uh, uh, from yes. Joy. Joy yes. did four of them, cakes. which lasted. Like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and we had ma 
mocktails. Hurricane oh, mocktails. That was delicious. People love that. that. Delicious. Yeah. Yeah. What's in this? What's yeah. in this? Yeah, so we had to get the recipe out. But uh, we had enough food for all those people. We sure did. Mm -hmm. And that was sure. a success. So it's good. Yeah. So that was a lovely thing. Congratulations to the committee. So the last book that came out of the old building had a GoPro on it. And so, as it went to each person, they got to talk to the book or whatever. So, yeah, nice touch. Mm -hmm. It was great fun. Yeah. And a quick shout out to Mary, Joe, and all the staff. They did an outstanding job. Yes. Yes. They did. Yes. Clean up. Farewell was yeah, sad yeah. for the cleanup. <laughs> I was so I was so tired. I you know I they were still working when I left. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and then they kept working, and then there was the opening, and then everybody got sick. <laughs> oh. We the staff, and I was—I already was, but it was a happy kind of sick because at least we had. Now, is—is is everybody back? Not Amy, not, not Amy's not back. Amy's back. Oh, is she? Wow. We had some flu and colds going through this day. They worked so hard, but they had been working so hard oh, to, with the move and all that, and then the dust and the whatever. And we got all these new staff people, so I've not got the names all down pat, but I'm starting to. But everybody, please introduce yourselves um, repeatedly to the new staffers. Do you know them all yet? Do you know them all yet? I do. Sometimes I have to pause before I say <laughs> it. Uh, all those K names. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people with K. And yeah. the first letter in their name. Yeah. Of just a lot of young people. A lot of young people, but some seasoned people and seasoned library people. It's a, a good mix of new people. How many did you know? I heard about 10. Wow. Part -time. Some, they're part time. Mm -hmm. between, between the departments, so librarians, library assistants, library clerks. Mm -hmm. Do we need more? I don't know yet. We might, but we need to work with the schedule for a while first. Good. Wonderful. Anything else on marketing? Mm -hmm. This is a big celebration. I do want to remind the board that Mary Jo sent out an email. We were scheduled to have a marketing committee meeting tomorrow, but we're going to postpone that. Um, celebrate our great successes and wait to have Michelle Montour uh, join us at some date that we'll fix up. We're, we're looking into um, whether or not we want to change the library logo. We've had this logo for a long time now, so um, we'll probably have a, a, a staff, a, a small staff meeting with Michelle first, and then um, bring something to the marketing committee. Good time for a, 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 a event in the community that kids or other people come up with that well, we'll ideas. We'll talk yeah, to her yeah. about yeah. She may have some, I think she may have some thoughts on her kids. Yeah. So that's fine. I this is a good time to do that. So how's it all working, Noel? The camera? Yeah. Oh, fine. Really? Mm -hmm. I have to think about that. <laughs> okay, everybody, you know the eyes are watching us. Be on good behavior. Um, so thank you. Um, now we're, I think we're to the point of item E. We'll just go down and then go back up to the top at the end. Uh, item E is the personnel committee. Linda? No, no report. No report. But, well, yeah, and after the meeting you can report on Hayes and no one want to hear that. We can make him a honorary newest baby. Oh. Um, policy committee, Mary Jane. I don't have anything to report. No report on that. And the art committee, um, Michelle Montour is the chair of the art committee and is, I believe she came to one of our meetings mm -hmm. and she'll come to some others. The art committee has been very active. Mary Jane and Alma and Mary Jo and I have been involved in it. Um, the last art committee meeting, well, there was an impromptu meeting on our soft opening day in the quiet study room that I can report on. 
I'm trying to remember the last actual meeting. I need a little help. We had it. We had it over here. It's February. In, in, in February. Little, little of February, maybe? Yeah, and Michelle, they, they looked at all the spaces that we've identified for art, the, the temporary space, and then other spaces that have appeared that will work for art. Um, it was the 6th. The so the 6th of February was before our last meeting. At 3 o'clock. So we probably talked about that yeah. at our last meeting. The, and the next meeting is? Did we send it to we did. It's the end of this month. The next meeting is? I want to say the 23rd. It's the 26th. 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 3 p.m. At 3 p.m. <laughs> and also oh, in, yeah, right. in the new library, as we opened, we came. We felt that this quiet uh, reading room, which in our old library had been the purple room and it had been one of our more colorful rooms, but in this we had almost purposely not decided what to do about it. The art committee had an impromptu meeting on the opening day in that room. And um, when we have our next meeting, I think they're gonna recommend something about wall color and perhaps art on the wall. Um, because downstairs has so much color in the children's room. Up here we have color in the team room. But when you look around the atrium, you know, the uh, skylight, you stand around there, if you look on this wall, it's there's nothing to draw the eye in. So presently, we have 16 different colors in this building. Is it going to be 17? Maybe we'll get 17. <laughs> when when Michelle was looking at it, she was quite impressed with that blue that's over the skylight that's in okay, the skylight. Yeah, yeah. So they may choose to to use something like that. But you know, she she indicated she's thinking in a calm color that will be good for the quiet study room. But probably in blues or something. But we might have one more color. So they, they did hang the Centennial quilt in the history room? Yeah. And it looks, it looks like it was made for that room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kind of picks up the colors that are right. in the table. I don't know who I was yeah. walking through and they said, Where did you get that? When did you get that? I said, <laughs> It's been in the library for yeah. all, yeah. forever. So people are acting like it, they never saw it before. It's a brand new thing. Oh, that, they were like really impressed. So isn't that lucky? Um, and the, when, does anybody know when we get our art in here? When Doug Peterson gets it done? I'm not sure, I'll have to ask. Is he back? He's back, he took it to, to refurbish, the uh -huh. portrait of Fred C. Fisher. Doug Peters is, is refurbishing and was like cleaning it up, so it is. 67 years worth of cross on it. And Doug, Doug Peters also discovered that it was done by a famous artist who's an African-American artist. It was done in like 1935 or something. Wow. Mm -hmm. This African-American artist named Huey, Huey Lee Smith, I believe. Huey Lee Smith. Mm -hmm. So fancy that. So that'll be art in here, maybe by the next meeting. Who knows? Is it March 26th at 3 p.m., right? Mm -hmm. Is right. the art committee, and thank you. Now I'm glad you've got it done because hopefully you can come. I was remiss in not right. making sure. Could we add um, Barbara to the not notifications sure. about our committee? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we will go back to the building committee report. And our chair of the building committee is bubbling over with joyous news. <laughs> well, it should be short. Um, the, the old building, have, the vermiculite does have asbestos in it. Mm. So it's <clears throat> from uh, that particular wall is 1992. So uh, they will have to peel off everything from the wall and then handle the wall separately. So take the roof off, everything that's, that, that it's, that's, everything that's weighing on it so that it can stand by itself. So they'll have to scaffold it on both sides 
uh, and then handle that wall entirely separately. Let's put a tent over it. Yeah, that's cool. right. Yep. Uh, so Friday the 20th is the last day to get stuff out of the building. Um, and uh, they also have 9 by 9 asbestos tile too in the oldest part of the building. So um, ETC will start working on that on the 23rd with a question mark. I don't know if that's changed at all. Uh, what they have they're, they're coming in on Monday the 23rd. Yeah. Um, and I think everybody knows the wood trusses will not be salvaged with big beams. Um, they'll have to disconnect all the utilities, and I think there's still one important computer in there, or is that out yet? <laughs> We've got um, our accounting software, we're getting an upgrade this Monday, and once we get that in this building, we'll be done. That's important. Uh, ETC will, uh, they'll be doing the bids, <coughs> and um, I guess the building committee will approve like we have been. The uh, punch list, they've done starting to work on that, I understand. Um, I don't, are they done? They're probably not done yet. No. Yeah. Uh, is the electrician had issues to take care of and use regarding um, the LED lighting that changes color? Uh, is, is that, I don't know if that's it's from, not been this was from 3-3. It's not been resolved yet. Yeah. Uh, so some of us saw that um, the curved parts in the youth department on the ceiling, they, had, they were lighted with blue lighting and then that keyhole entryway had colored lighting that changed colors and they had an issue they had to fix. Uh, <coughs> Hillary and Mary Jo are going to get trained on HVAC and their lighting uh, systems in this new building. They're going to record it for posterity. The Life safety line for this roof here that's going to be vegetated and the one in the teen zone uh, is pending final requirements. There's a new contract for that. And we uh, agreed to have them put on the door just 167. There was a big discussion about our address and how to display it on the building, and we're just going to have those final, you know, how to cut out the letters building just one door. door on the door yeah uh, I was supposed to have a fact sheet about bees because we are going we are putting the bees on the very top of we the got, roof. we got to make that a motion oh that's right there was a discussion there is a discussion regarding the bees at one time I don't know if you remember we were talking about putting them on the vegetative roof by the teen zone and uh, Upon further discussion, they're going to be up on the roof, and we're, to, we're talking about uh, three hives to be taken care of by a couple. Is it, uh, is it the couple guys, or is there a bigger organization? For bees these? in the D. Bees in the D. I don't know if there's more than the two. Just the two right now. The two, yeah. Uh, which would be one of the hives has already been. Um, Teresa Antonelli has offered to donate one hive. Um, as a beekeeper, a combination of three hives is a good number uh, because your hives tend to grow and ex go, go get bigger and smaller during the seasons, and that gives you a place to grow that third hive. Um, and I was supposed to have a fact sheet on bees so we wanted to and I didn't I forgot about it I'm sorry you you can <laughs> still be time get it to you um, so uh, do you want to talk more about what they're going to be doing Jim Jim Wagner a local beekeeper and I were on the roof uh, last week deciding where the bees should be and uh, we agreed on the spot, and I took the architect up there, 
and we're going to get that special laid out with uh, uh, walking paths so they can, be, can walk to it and deal with the bees on the roof. And it's going to have good sun exposure. Um, and our, our vegetative roof will have plenty of clover and whatever stuff for them to feast oh. on. And the bees go like three miles away to get food. Bees, bees in the D will maintain for one year while educating Hillary and some of us about how to take care of bees. And so I think Hillary, after a year, Hillary will uh, take over that uh, position. Does Hillary think that after a year? <laughs> I think she's pretty we'll excited we'll, about it. We'll, 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 we'll see what happens after a year. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll leave us with us. Okay. Right. Maybe a second year contract. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have me in charge. Um, well, I, I appreciate the work that has gone in. Joy is a beekeeper and knows, um, John knows the significance and ecological importance of bees. And it's, we're not unique among libraries. Some other libraries have done this. But uh, this probably would be the time for a formal motion about restricting the bee um, hive, beehive to the roof. So whoever wants to make that motion. Madam Chair, now is the time. I'd like to make a motion that on April 1st, or in April, we uh, set up our beehives and uh, have them put in by um, bees in the bee, and which, are, which were uh, paid for by Trees Antonelli and from a moving the Mitten real estate company. I'll second that. It has been moved by Jeriga and supported by Dawson. I want to clarify one of the misconceptions about bees because they are honeybees. Honeybees versus honeybees are one type of pollinator. Um, the bees that we have in our part of the United States are not Africanized. Africanized bees cannot survive winters like we have. Um, they are gentle bees. There's, there's videos of people covered with the honey bees all over their body, and they love it. I'm not that good of a beekeeper, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, bees will not. Um, they don't attack. Your, people will think of hornets, which look very similar to bees, or yellow jackets, which are also similar looking. They're black and yellow, but they are not hairy and fuzzy and warm and friendly like regular bees. They can repeatedly, a uh, honeybee can only sting you one time and then it dies. And it will only do that if it's feeling attacked. Where yellow jackets and some of the other pollinators, they are pollinators and they have usefulness in our ecology. Uh, but they are if you also if you a little more aggressive if you didn't know we had, if we, you didn't know we had bees on the roof, would, would you know that we had bees no. on the roof? No, no, you wouldn't know it. No. Probably not. No, and they're, if you're eating a pop or drinking pop down there with a hamburger and stuff, they're bees not. Bees are not attracted to food. They're not attracted to food. Those they're are not aggressive, jackets. and they're, they're all they all they want is pollen. Bees will not have anything to do with you and your food, unless well, I'll say with one exception, if you're eating honey, <laughs> 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 but not any kind of other sweet. They want nectar and, and pollen. So we have a motion on the floor. Will that help my allergies? Like they'll take away all the pollen so it, I won't be sneezing. Actually, well, if you eat their honey, it will help you not react little, to it. Little pollen. known flat, uh, fact, in Cuba, a, mm -hmm. a known process of curing arthritis is giving bee stings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well, well, well. Work on that. You, you guys got a uh, bee mare badge? <laughs> no, I'm allergic. So. You're allergic? Oh. No, not Do they still have a bee well, mare badge? We used to. See, that's, that's what I'm talking about. There might be, be something be on keeping? bugs. Yeah. Huh? There yeah. might be something on bugs. I don't or insects. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we used to have beekeeping. Yeah. yeah, insects. But you're allergic to wasps. They're different than bees. Yeah, yeah. thank you. you. Allergic yes. to wasps, <laughs> different than bees. Wasps are useless. Well, they kill insects, but they're they don't pollinate, right? 
No, that's not true. Wasps are also pollinators. Ah, ah. Yes, they are. <laughs> when, I, when I googled the purpose of wasp, it says that they kill insects. They mm -hmm. probably do, but they also can pollinate. They do. You'll see wasp on if they're in the mood. <laughs> there's a lot of different kinds of wasps too, though. So there's a really ugly hornet, and it it only eats other critters. It doesn't eat. Do the paper wasps make those beautiful paper? Well, well, well. Um, we have a motion on the, uh, a duly seconded motion on the floor. Do we have any other comment? Hearing none. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed say no. Our B limitation motion has been uh, adopted with no dissenting votes. Thank you, group. Thank you. It appears that we are now, oh, is there anything about, uh, well, in Mary Jo's report, she says something about Sumter. Did you have anything about Sumter? I don't. Okay. Well, we'll wait, for the, we'll wait for the director's report, and right now we'll go on the um, accounts payable, which you got all these, and many of these checks I signed my own very own self. But look, 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 what we have here. <laughs> so you do not get to leave with the okay. half and half. Okay. Okay. Um, these are the, it's a lot of Baker and Taylor, which is the books. We bought a lot of books to get ready to open this library. Most of the site, I, they don't send one big, big invoice. They send tons of big and little invoices. Do we have an exact number of books that we purchased? Uh, maybe take a rough number. <laughs> maybe, somewhere. <laughs> I, I talked to Hillary and I said, how many books and magazines and tapes? She says, uh, close to 90,000. That we purchased? Yes. No, no, now we oh, purchased. We bought our collection. Compared to, what was our collection? Yeah, I don't know. So anybody who says, uh, yeah, we have plenty of books, so for all the people that are concerned that we just have technology, we have books and technology. So that's what libraries are. I think a motion that we approve the council table as presented. Second. There is a motion by Dawson, seconded by Chehevitz, that we approve the accounts payable as presented. Are there any other questions or comments about the accounts payable? All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, those opposed, say no. This motion carries with no dissenting votes. And now we are at our lovely director. And once again, I don't think we can keep praise enough on our director. This I, the hardest. I mean, all of us. I really, I think we all worked hard, and the staff worked hard. But Mary Jo had to keep everything in her head and all this going on. She did an amazing. She doesn't want praise. She wants a nap. <laughs> We um, the circular stair railing was in, completed on Thursday night. Thursday the Friday 27th. night. <laughs> Friday night. Yeah, Thursday night at 8 p.m. Wow. We received our temporary certificate of occupancy on, on you know Friday by noon. That's we opened Saturday the 29th. So everything did work out well. I really. I'm grateful for that because I really did want to leap into our new library on the yeah, like um, So, uh, but it was it was a little bit fraught with peril there there for a while. So <laughs> we're going to quite make it. So our library will stay forever young because it'll take four years for it ever to have a one year and a one year birth. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we've we've we're still working through a lot of. You know, issues and tech issues, and the, the best way to test something out is to actually 
use it so we can find out where all, where all the weird issues are and, and try to address them. So as it was, we were setting up our new phone system also on the, the Friday before we opened, so we're still kind of working through some things. Um, in addition to heat, the heating and cooling system training and training on how to operate the, the lights, uh, we also need some training on our AV systems that are in this meeting room and the, the, the meeting room downstairs. So, so you'll notice we're, we're recording this meeting in our, our normal low oh, fashion with the iPad. I um, see. So that's the same thing you've used yes. all the time, Noel. Mm -hmm. well, so hopefully by the time we have the next meeting, we'll, 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 we'll have this fancy the, the eye in the sky. Yes. Oh, okay. um, I also wanted wanted to give a shout out to um, you know, the. So many people. I, I, I you have a really long list of people to thank, but you know, obviously the staff. Uh, we've had a lot of volunteers that helped us out along the way as well, moving some boxes and stuff from the, the old library. We were, we were trying to pack up some of our office of, offices and office supplies. We had volunteers helping us when we received our boxes from boxes and boxes and boxes from Baker and Taylor, of all of our opening day collection items. So we had some volunteers helping with that. Joy, your husband Rick, I'm really grateful to. He's newly retired from Xerox, and so he has a lot of um, technology skills, and he, he helped us deploy all of our computers. And as you remember, you remember from the last meeting, I said that we, our Dell order was, was late, so we really had to hustle to get everything, everything set up the way we wanted it, so that was helpful. The, the, the people from the library network, we utilized, I think, almost every employee from the library network in some capacity <laughs> while we've been going through this. They have been very helpful, and I can't say I put things about belonging to the co-op and all of their services. They've been very professional with us, very patient. Um, the branch, we did finally get um, the shelving from the supplier, so that was delivered to the branch, and the mill worker was able to go down and put the, the um, end panels on last week, so that's been completed. Is that the last thing? I think that's the last thing. We may be a couple of little ads and ends, but, but it mostly, mostly had. Um, statistics, I will, will, I'll resume doing more detailed statistics at the next meeting. We just, um, among, yeah, the, yeah. among the staff members who were sick was, was Pete Carroll, who worked, takes care of all of that. <laughs> so, and we were just, you know, really kind of hustling last week, so we just figured we'd, we'd kind of, we kind of had a down, down month anyway as far as staff. But you put a picture so. on your report. I put a nice picture and yeah. stuff. So, yeah. so, so this is a lovely report. Words. Um, I did give you a couple of articles. Um, one is an amendment to the Library Privacy Act that the, the state uh, legislature is looking at. And it deals specifically with um, video, video, video camera recordings in libraries. Right now those are considered library records, so if something happens in the library or on the library grounds, the, the police would need to have a subpoena in order to, to you know, have those records. Sometimes there are exig exigent circumstances where you want to be able to access that a lot faster than a subpoena will let you. Um, so this legislation would, would basically kind of take care of that. Um, How many security cameras do we have? Uh, I want to say 11. This is a repeated issue in my library. And the the uh, police get very irritated. They have to get a subpoena to protect, you know, and enforce the law. So at least our, our police did. So I'm glad this is a, a change. I think. So the so the Michigan Library Association has weighed in and basically offered some suggestions to the amendments to make sure that we are continuing to maintain patron privacy. The, mo the main thing that a library is concerned with is, you know, what what someone is checking out, you know, or, or what or material that they're viewing on the computer, things right. like that, that are protected by library privacy. So these articles kind of kind of walk you through this issue a little bit so you can see what's going on. Uh, yeah, an article about graphic novels. That's how my son became a top student. I was so worried, but he was comic books and graphic novels, and there's just so many of them now. Mm -hmm. It turned out I didn't they realize that Captain fun. Underpants was graphic. Yeah, oh, but I've been buying those kind of things for my fans. Captain Underpants. What? Not familiar, Barbara? No, I'm not. What's it about? It's really cute. It's a cute series. But there's Dogman and... Mm -hmm. yeah, well, what age are those? 
He's eight or nine. Yeah, he's reading. Captain. 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 Right. But, you know, and I think parents do worry. So it might be something that, I don't know how you could convey that to parents, but. It's just mentioned here. No, I mean, how we, do we convey it to parents that are coming here with their you don't kids? Have to, you don't have to read War and Peace necessarily. Right. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm drawing a blank, though, but what's the congressman who? Oh, the series. That's the three books. March. Mar uh, oh, March that was, series. that was, did John Lewis? Yes, that's it? what it was. Yeah, yeah, which was the Civil Rights Movement yes. in, mm -hmm. in uh, graphic novel. Mm -hmm. Well, this one mentioned one about the Holocaust. Yeah. And it won the Pulitzer Prize. Right. Mm -hmm. So I just ordered that on Amazon, because yeah. I thought, that sounds really interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, very good. Thank you very much for a thorough and. I, I yeah. think I think Mary Jo needs to ask her insurance company uh, coverage if they cover beach therapy. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to apply. <laughs> the doctor refers her. <laughs> well, thank you for the director's report. It's now time for the trustee report, and since we are joined. We are a full complement of trustees today. I'm going to start with Linda Priest to give us a very nice report. Well, I just want to say that I missed you guys, but I was just thinking about my beautiful new baby grandson. I'll see if I can get a picture. Do you have a picture? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, video and everything else. But um, he's just so adorable. It's not the best. But that's a little video of him. Um, Aww. And, I mean, he's just... It was just a wonderful experience. It's probably the most wonderful thing I've ever done. That's good. And I really Those appreciate it. Te Texas? Texas? Texas and Dallas. You can have more impact on the first few months That's what of I life. Wanted. And I got him into a good time. preschool, and I bought him all kinds of books, and he's already <laughs> turning pages on oh books. Oh, my God. God. He's only six months old. This is <laughs> so I, I wanted him, I said, even if I'm not alive when he's a little older, I want to know that I did that, that we did, that my husband and I did that, that we wanted to be there for him and we wanted to make sure he had a good start and he got in a good school. And so I can relax a little bit because I'm yeah. so stressed out about it. He has his own little library, huh? What? He has his own little library. Yes, he has his own little library. Plus, I got a library card down there. Oh. <laughs> so, I mean, and when he comes up here, I will bring him here. So he's How long have you been away from him? Five days? I know. That we we FaceTimed three times already. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want him to forget me. Because he, he saw me every day. Yeah. I was there with him all day. They, they day. do remember do they FaceTime. Do picture of you in the house? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, yeah. It is a great boon having FaceTime. And the kids yeah. really do. My New York grandbaby's the one that I get to see the least. When she does see me in person, I mean, it's very normal because she talks to me so much on FaceTime. So. Yeah. You'll be good glad. Now I'm ready to work. I'm back and I'm well, it's about time. time. <laughs> <laughs> I, miss, so, I miss so many wonderful things. So, so we'll give you a lot of boxes to carry Whatever around. Whatever you need. You I'm there for you. No, <laughs> what, what the last couple of months have done. What was it? One of them was like? What was, was the one of Well, John had took my husband and I through the library right before we left. Yeah. And the carpeting wasn't in. Yeah, it was okay. They were painting. It was a while ago. It was a long time. The yeah. railing, of course, was wasn't in. Yeah, the entryway was there, but no railing. And um, the stairs were in. But it was pretty bare bones. Mm -hmm. And so coming back to this was it's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Just, and I did see it online, but it's nothing right. like being here. Well, if you had seen it the Thursday night before, that would have been February 27th, Thursday night before we opened on the 29th. 
I mean, it was a lot, but there was so much stuff around it. Most of us were going around saying, oh my gosh, we're not going to be able to do this by Saturday, except for Mary Jo. She was <laughs> literally bouncing all over the place and saying, we're going to open on Saturday. And lo and behold, Dean was in here really almost whipping the people who were putting the railing on the stairs. They were still here, like she said, until 8 o'clock at night they on Thursday yeah, They night. were working 15 hours a day. Right. Wow. And they couldn't put the tiles on the floor until they were finished, so the tiles were all off there, and there was just all kinds of stuff. And, they, and the panels, the end panels for the shelves hadn't been delivered yet. So on Friday, they got those all whipped up and on. And I, it's amazing. It is amazing. It probably was an incentive for everybody to get done, though, to have that. You have to yeah. have that thing. thing. You have yep. to have that. That yeah. was Mary Jo. She just bounced around. She was very yeah. optimistic for the rest of us, grousing old ladies. They didn't want to close any longer. All right. Yeah. All right. So yeah, it was really a happy, happy time for us. Well, we're happy to have you back. Thank you. Mary Jane? Was that Deb? Yeah. 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 Okay, so I love my new library. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Um, library week this year is April 19th. Is, it, is that what it is? Mary it sounds right. 19th through the 25th. Okay. Our 10-year anniversary of being a district library is April 17th. Wow. Already 10 years. Yeah. yeah and I See how time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. It's a <laughs> lot of work. What anyway. day was that? Was April, April 17th, 2010. We all wow. yeah. As a district library. That's it. It's been like that long. In some okay. ways. So it seems like much longer. <laughs> <laughs> I was in this community for that, folks. Oh, yeah, boy. Well, that's good. That's a good thing to point out, too. And really, um, we didn't dwell on the marketing committee next step things, but when we get ready for the grand opening, we need to have all this history put together. And Mary Jo, Mary Jane and Rick are really good on when we opened at Sumter, Rick was the one kind of giving a history background thing and and so all those kinds of things that you've got. We we need to start getting that down, making sure how we're going to put the grand opening in context of especially what the last decade has been, but there was a lot of work way before 2010 oh, yeah. to get us to the point of being able to become a district library. And if we hadn't become a district library, we couldn't have gone out for our bond and millage and yeah. been able to do this. So well, I, There was a lot of foresight with Debbie Green and Mary Jane and a whole bunch of members of the community. Um, so next comes Alma. Well, just want to say I'm excited about our new library. Um, everybody's asking about the new library. Pretty excited, so it's um, exciting times for the community. And I uh, want to thank the building committee for all the time and sacrifice. Uh, especially John, I don't know how many hours he's up. He's done way more hours than his yeah, paper says. John's he comes here every day. John is here every he day. He just doesn't he's count those hours. <laughs> He's everywhere. He's everywhere. <laughs> Mary Jo's praying for good weather so I can work in my yard. <laughs> Meanwhile, Debbie Jurega is praying for ascending to the line. <laughs> you guys know me well. <laughs> Joy? I just want to thank the bill, the marketing committee for all of the great we're putting those two events together and for the library staff. I mean, those are those are big events kind of back to back and we had hundreds of people at both of them, so great job. Barbara, that's it. Well, okay. I wanted to congratulate Rosemary. I was not able was to attend the uh, book brigade, but in this week's 
a defendant, you know, great pictures, great story. I think uh, we really need our newspaper. Mm -hmm. She's on our side. Yeah. <laughs> I, you, you were from her before you were there. Yeah. So I do appreciate that. I felt like that about the uh, Mardi Gras. I didn't see that <laughs> issue. Mardi Gras had nice pictures also. Did? Yeah, she was. Yeah. 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 I mean, I remember they were the independent. It was in the yeah. independent. Were the pictures for the Because that's where I am. Yeah, there were pictures. Yeah. I, I have to go through here. I missed that issue. So I well, we have the issues here in the library. We have back issues <laughs> oh, of the independent. Okay. And, then, and then Rosemary has back okay. end issues of the independent. I missed the Mardi Gras ones. And I wanted to say um, I'm always looking at diversity. And somehow the word got out through Rosemary. I saw the ads and things in the paper. It was such a diverse crowd mm -hmm. of people at the Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. And diversity in age. People came in with their little babies and all of that, and old people on walkers and all. It was just a, a coming together. So I, I appreciate that and like that. So. And of course, Mary Jo was stable. <laughs> Through it all. Through, Through it all. Stay <laughs> Was there a shelf here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I know I've been gone, but she I never lost realize. her pool, though. I mean, no, she doesn't. She didn't. I, I don't know her as well as you guys do, but I was impressed with that. So. That's all. John? Uh, at the last city council meeting, I made the announcement that Belleville finally has a destination. Um, I'm so proud of the staff. Thank you. Matthew words. Be before you thank your class, I just have a real quick question. Are we having a garage sale? No. He's doing it. <laughs> no. It's an ongoing thing. Can I say that? Mm -hmm. It's an ongoing thing. I'm donating stuff to churches, social groups, and stuff like that. People who can use it instead of it going to the dump. Oh, right. John's doing a really good job of reaching out. Other, li other libraries, too. So uh, the stuff from the old building. River they Rouge, e-course. Uh, can we at least burn one of those tables? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no one is one of the tables. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you want a bonfire, I hear. Yeah. <laughs> For our public who hasn't been here before, in the old library, the tables that we had to help hold our meetings around were falling apart. Oh. They, we had them held together. For Mike goes tape down. Duct tape. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, for to us to be in here tape. with all this fancy <laughs> stuff is a little bit. They were from 1953. So. Oh. Yeah. 1853. <laughs> <laughs> John, they would have been nicer if they were from 1853. So <laughs> the the umbrellas that went over the computer. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, the roof <laughs> kept leaking, so we had umbrellas and we had to get out when it rained heavily, so the computers oh, weren't We had to wear our coats in the study room. We were freezing in the room that we had. We all were bumping up during were this cold. meeting. I had to plug my computer out of the room and make sure and plug, yes. plug it in. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell all these things. <laughs> But it makes you appreciate it more when you have it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I think that ends the trustee comments. For chair comments, it's really reflecting all that has been said. We have so much to celebrate. We thank our community. Our community exactly. has been behind this library all the way through. Uh, the community has donated both through their tax dollars and through really tremendous private donations to make this library really special. We have had, we, it's fun for us, we're being able to host the best parties in the community. These last two events that have taken place really show how much the community values this library and I hope that we can keep up with that. We will make this the community place. We've been working with Van Buren Township, Belleville, the city of Belleville, and Sumter Township to really bring in and brainstorm ways to work better. Van Buren Township has offered and is starting to work with us on uh, helping in any way they can with our grand opening in July. Um, we really appreciate the role that we have in the community and we appreciate the community support. 
We also appreciate our board member, Joy Chehevitz, who has made goodies for us today. And I have nothing else to say, so once we adjourn, we can all take part in her king cake. This edition talk, talking about the grand opening July 25th, besides the ceremony here at 4th Street Square yeah. over there, we're having a jazz concert. The city gave us permission to close off the street. We're going to have a car show going at the same time, and hopefully events in this area here for kids. So that yeah, yeah. it's going to be so much fun in the city of Belleville. I've had uh, city council people, in addition to Tom, who always talks to us, I've had other city council people talk to me about what they plan for that. So yeah, we're planning a real, a real same. town event. Yes, It'll the be ceremony here starts at 11. The concerts over there start. Start one. Go ahead. Doesn't it? The speakers. I thought they start here at eleven. Anyway, no, we start at eleven. And yeah, they're, they're going to start at twelve thirty. Oh, okay. the concert's going to be going on. Okay. 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 But the rows are the rows are just so. right. On that note, Madam Chair, <laughs> I make a motion this meeting to be adjourned. And is there a second? Second. It's many times second to <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Our Aye. meeting Aye. is adjourned. What is at 11 and what's at 1? This ceremony here is at 11.